Five months ago, I did a branding project for a startup company. It was the fastest project I ever did. It took me one week to do the branding project because they were so stressed out and they wanted it to be ready so fast. So I did it in one week and then they didn't use it for five months until they had the big lunch that they did this week. But I'm so happy because now that the branding is out and live, I can actually show you what I did and show you the whole process and behind the scene of the project, uh, which I'm super, super excited about. So the name of the company I work with is called Nexar. And what this company does is actually they're trying to um, help prevent car accidents by using your mobile phone as a dashboard camera. You put it on the front of your car and it kind of records what's going on on the road and it communicates with other people who have this app to kind of know what's going on around the road and therefore help you to prevent car accident by notifying you what's going on in the road. And actually I was hired because the product designer working on designing the app kind of knew me and we were kind of online friends and even though we never met in person, he knew who I was so when they needed the new brand, he reached out to me and asked me if I want to help with this project which is super awesome and that's why I love making online friends on the internet. They give you great opportunities. Um, so I met with the company and tried to understand what's their challenge and why are they trying to do the, the main focus in this branding was to create a new logo. And here's the logo that they had when they approached me and they had several problems with this logo. The first one was readability. Um, the X in the word Nexar was not always recognized and some people looked at the logo and thought it means near so that was one thing they had an issue with the second one was that it kind of looked a bit similar to another company or a competitor that's in the market and they want to kind of dif differentiate themselves from it and the third one is that the most of the people interact with this brand through an app and they wanted the app icon to be more unique or to work better as, as an app icon than it could with this specific X in this, uh, in this current logo. So I've done a brand strategy with them where we set together the founder, the designer, and me trying to really understand the company, what their value is. And one of the core things I understood is how much the safety and protection which is the core of why they started this company is important to them. The next step after that is I started sketching out ideas. I used my sketchbook for that and it took me a few days where I kind of do just one or two hours a day just sketching in my notebook. Let me show you. So I start out by sketching ideas and writing keywords and kind of trying to brainstorm how I should approach this. Try to make a typographic logo or an icon, what metaphors I can use uh, that are relevant to this company. And the truth is, I have a lot of ideas here, but none of them was really amazing or great. You see, I have a lot of ideas. I thought this was the, the best one while I was sketching it kind of to combine uh, the icon of a wheel with kind of a nodes of a network. So that was the first concept that I tried to went with, but I wasn't super happy with it. Now, if I had more time for this project, I told you I didn't have much time for it. I would probably continue sketching until I have a better idea. But since my time was limited and I had to present something, I took this one concept, first concept that I showed you over to Illustrator and started playing with it. And what happened was that while playing with the shapes in Illustrator, I came across another concept which I haven't thought about initially when I was sketching out but it kind of logically made a lot of sense once I saw it and then I just created kind of the presentation to explain the logic of why I think this direction uh, is good and that presentation actually sold this direction very well. Let me show you the presentation. So here's the presentation I showed you and this is only the selected direction. I showed two ideas that I researched that I think are super relevant to the company and that I used them in developing the concept for the lowest. So the first one is, since this is a company that's working on a connected car, the, the concept is network. And I tried to kind of see how we visually usually represent a network, uh, whether it's of a connected car or just a network that we kind of a symbol that we know to associate with a network. The second thing is that, as I've explained to you, the value of protection and helping to save people's life using the app was so important that I was 
trying to see how usually we visualize things that protect us and I can't kind of um, came to the concept or the visual concept of some kind of a protective dome some kind of a circle that's above your head that's protecting you from everything that's outside and then I kind of took those two symbols uh, kind of simplified version of them and together they've combined a very simple kind of N protective N with a network that I could match to a very simple geometric font to create a logo type that is very unique but also tells the story of a connected car. You can also look at the N as perhaps a car from above. You can see a lot of things when looking at this N with a Wi-Fi. And the next thing about it is that it, it actually is pretty iconic shape because it doesn't look exactly like a lot of things that you've seen. It works well in small sizes and it can really work well as an app icon even when it's small. When presenting the logo, I always like to show how it will look on the application. Maybe it's a website or maybe it's a shirt. Obviously, I didn't have to design t-shirts, but I always like to show a brand how it develops on other um, applications. This is, for example, the, the thing that holds the car on your dashboard. So, and I always finish the presentation by showing them everything together, the whole brand together, to kind of get sense of how this looks. So this is what I showed them and we had a one round of iteration regarding the uh, angle of the, the network symbol and the width of the lines to kind of make sure that we did it right but overall it was a pretty easy sell because they really liked this and it really clicked with them which is really really fun. Also they picked the direction that I wanted and I liked best which is always a happy thing and, and a fun thing when that happens. So as I've said uh, a couple of days ago they've launched a new version of the app which with a new brand and with lots of new features so I encourage you to check it out and download it. I'll link some stuff in the description below and good luck to the guys at Nexar. It was super fun to work with you and congratulations with everything that you do. Anyway, a lot of the methodology that I showed you and this process I learned while I was working in a branding agency in Open where I think I left like four years ago, but I'm still in touch with Sal who is the creative director there and he was my boss and we still keep in touch and I'm going to grab lunch with him right now, which is fine. We do that once in a while to catch up and see what's up and kind of still try to learn from each other. going to head out right now. That was such a great lunch. I think not many people take advantage in meet and stay in touch with former boss, but it's it's really great. First of all, I have a great time meeting him and eating great food, but it's so great to hear from his perspective how he's like looking into the future of growing a branding agency and all of like what he learned during the last few years and I'm sharing my perspective of what I learned in the area of product design so it's kind of we teach each other and it's great because I learned from him he learned from me and we both really gain from it and actually on the way right now on the bicycle I had an idea for a collaboration so again I really love staying in touch with people and just hanging out anyway heading back home to keep working have a great day and I will catch you tomorrow